Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Z, and today we are continuing our Epirus campaign in RTR Imperium Serectum Virgin 0.6. Now, last time we defeated that big Antigonid army, but nearby they have a spicy little meatball of an army ready to attack us. They have actually ambushed us. Now, I actually don't think I've ever defended an ambush in this mod. So let's see how it goes, but let's start the episode with a bang. I'll see you there, guys. So we can set up, which is quite good. But, we, well, no, we can't set up. We've just got to start the battle. So I am going to pause because we need to get our men in shape. And it looks like they have just come from that side there. That's fine for us. So what I'm going to do is pull back. Get all these guys off that. Just play for a second. Play. So now these guys should be able to run. We're going to get our guys behind as well. Run, of course. And the cavalry, we're going to get you behind as well. And let's see how we do in this battle. Whether they're going to catch us, I don't know. They should have attacked from both sides. What can I say? What can I say? I mean, infantry-wise, we should be able to beat them. But cavalry-wise, they definitely have the power here. So we've got to be very careful, especially with the Thessalian cavalry, because those boys, as we've seen previously, are absolute beasts. Let's make sure you guys are running. Uh, and let's speed this up. Let's see what they want to do. Now, I'm slightly worried about their Peltas as well, because their Peltas, of course, are very good. They're going to do a lot of damage. So let's get all you guys grouped up. Let's get you on Phalanx mode now. And let's try and come down. And ideally, we just want to engage them in melee and see what we can do. Um, hopefully, our Phalanxes don't mess up so much uh, like they did last time. Um, but here we go. Here we go. Here's for nothing, boys. Here goes nothing. Um, and we need to go and snipe that general at some point. I want to try and keep my cavalry in a bit better shape than they have done previously in terms of their, uh, you know, health uh, and fatigue level. Now, it looks like the mercenary hoplites are just going in for the old Chargius, which is great. Uh, let's see if we can deal with those boys. Okay, looks like they don't want to come and party. Right, you guys. Oh, what are they doing, man? They're just trying to barge their way through. Okay, here they go. Right, let's uh, let's go and deal with that because they're going to lose a lot of men on the phalanx. Even if we lose a lot of men in the charge. If we can charge them back here, we should be in a good situation. Okay, here they go. Nice. No, don't open the phalanx up. Now kill the general. How are we doing against the Thessalians? We've killed half of them. Fantastic. Now get out. Get out. This unfortunately leaves this guy very vulnerable. Let's try and get the phalanx down. And then let's go for the second charge if we can. Right, you guys need to get here. I don't care if you take damage from the back from those. Let's just start chasing them. Right, let's kill uh, the Thessalian cavalry. Now, the general's fleeing. That's not good for us because I want to kill him. But fine, whatever. One of our cavalry units actually stayed in the fight. He's rallied, so he may come back. Now, we're just using this guy just to bait and charge them. Now, let's get into this block here if we can. You guys need to be in phalanx mode. You are awful when you're not in phalanx mode. So, please tell me you are in phalanx mode. I mean, I can't even see you. Where, where is this unit? Like, that's them? Can't see because of the long grass. <laughs> right, cavalry. Let's come through. Uh... General is still retreating. Oh, we managed to actually attack them. And now we're getting screwed. Oh, dear. Few missteps in these first couple of battles, I've got to say. But we are winning them. And, of course, we are playing on very hard. So, you know, everything's going to be a little bit harder than it has been previously. We can get a nice little charge off. We can maybe break one of these units. One of them's wavering. One more little charge. Is that enough? No, not quite you guys together as well. We're all winded already. All our cavalry is very, very bad in terms of their fatigue levels all the time. You guys need to come over here. Get those guys and let's get these guys across as well. How are you now doing? Still terribly. 
I think we need to go and sort... I think we need to go and save them. Who would have thought the Peltas would be uh, the ones savaging us? Let's keep going, guys. Keep moving forward. So let's try and surround these boys if we can. There we go. Got these guys coming up this way as well. Right. This is going to be a big save job over here. So this poor unit is still steady. And they should be even steadier when the uh, general gets going. Now you guys can halt and attack. And same thing with these guys. We'll get them in the fight. And then we'll attack. And if you guys can get around the back, that'd be fantastic. Right then. Right in there. Let's go. Let's go. Let's also rally Alexander so he doesn't die. Do not want him to die so early. I mean, it wouldn't be a, a nightmare because we still have Helenos, of course. These guys are all a bit tired. Okay, there we go. That's what we call a charge, boys. That is a charge. That is a charge. Come on. Yes, the boys. Let's kill. Kill, kill, kill. Keep on a killing, my men. Keep on a killing. And we have survived the ambush, at least for now. We didn't kill the general. That's the one thing that's, uh, that's not good. Okay, this unit stayed in. I, I told them to come out, but they stayed in. I don't know why. But those charges are just brutal. Brutal charges. And that's what we like to see. One more charge and it should be done. It should be done. It should be done, my friends. Let's get in there. You guys go after them, actually. Yes, there we go. Right, and that's chase them down. And I will see you once we've chased them all down, my friends. A glorious victory. And this time we killed uh, a little bit more than twice them. Now, my main problem now for us, I think, is the fact that the Akarnanians could siege down um, Ambrakia. And then we wouldn't be able to retrain any of these boys. That's a little bit of a worry, so hopefully that doesn't happen and we can get back to Ambrakia in peace. But I'll see you there, guys. A glorious victory indeed. Now, I am not going to actually attack Aegeon. I know they've got the rest of their army in there. But at this point in time, with this such damaged army, all it's going to be is just a problem for us. So what I'm going to do, because we can't actually reach Ambrakia, is come across to Dodona. I'm going to check we have mercenaries. No, we have none. So that's slightly worrying. We do have an Akontistai in there. Now, this army really cannot go for Ambrakia because if it does, we are screwed. <laughs> uh, but now we've destroyed both of those armies right next to each other, site of the famous battle. Um, now we've destroyed both of those armies right next to each other. Um, we should be free to take the north of uh, uh, of uh, Greece from the Antigonids. But, of course, it all depends on what happens. Also, Messene, what are you doing? <laughs> like, that's a little bit dodgy. Did we talk to these boys? I think they wouldn't accept map information, would they? So let's try 700. The they accept professor. 700. Let's go talk to Messene, then. We've already talked to Sparta, haven't we? Let's go talk to Messene. Let's also try and get an alliance, because they have no a ship right next to us, which I don't know why... They would like that ship there. Let's try 700. No, nope, they don't want to do that. Did we talk? We did talk to these boys. Let's try for an alliance. Very demanding. Really? Right then. Well, let's go talk to the Thracian boyos up to the north. But I am glad we have won both of those battles. They were pretty brutal. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but a glorious start to our campaign anyway. Now we just need to get our boys retrained. And we should be happy. That's why I'm going to save our money. I think we're still building everywhere anyway, so that's fantastic. But let's save the rest of our money so that we can make sure that we can retrain all of this army next turn. We're not going to be able to retrain the Zistaphori until we get up to the next level of town, because we can only get Prodromoi right now. So we really do need to get up to the next level of town soon. So I am going to pop that down to low. I know the taxes is going to be less, but... We do really need to get up to the next level of town. And we're not going to be sieging down any places anytime soon. Because we're going to go after Akarnania. Oh, so maybe we'll siege down Stratos. But that's fine. Messene looks very menacing. I think they're going to blockade us and declare war on us next turn. But welcome to extreme mode and very hard, guys. <laughs> Fantastic. Right, I'll press the end turn, guys. And I'll see you after that. Oh, uh, no! <laughs> Our nightmare has come true, my friends. Our nightmare has come true. And also, why is there a Messene general there? Like, that is so silly. <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> oh, we got another general in here. 
Well, we can definitely win this by general stacking. Now, it's a bit of a cheap tactic. Oh, Cleonimos is dead. Oh, no. Not the man we were going to put on the throne of Sparta. Um, but, yeah. Ceasefire between the Ptolemies. Very wealthy for Alexander of Epirus. Plus one influence and management. Fantastic. And we built in a lot of places. Well, that's glorious. But... We have a battle to do, don't we, my friends? Another one. And what I'm going to do for now is just leave... Well, we don't need to leave anyone because we can pop one of these guys back. Three generals. I don't think three generals is really OP general stacking. So I don't feel so dirty doing this. And we still got two decent units of phalangites. Three-ish decent units of phalangites still. But this is very much going to be a cavalry battle, I think. So... Let's get into this. Let's get rid of the Akarnanians attacking us. They have some Akarnanian hoplites, but they're actually quite damaged as well. Prodromoi, which is not good for us because we've got no missile troops apart from our reinforcements. So I might actually wait for the reinforcements. But from where I've attacked, the reinforcements should be coming from uh, the top left corner by them. So we'll set up on the left and see whether we can join. But this is very much going to be... A cavalry stack <laughs> into the enemy. So I'll see you there, guys. Yes. Yes. Just make sure that yours is not one of them. I mean, <laughs> better speech again. So I'm happy for you, uh, Alexander. Also going to pop you right at the back because you're not going to be useful here. Group you by yourself so we don't use you. And then the Phalangites, we're going to go about here. I don't really want to fight in the trees. And we're actually going to have a bit of a fatter formation this time. Because the thin formation really doesn't work. And I should have learned that by now. But yeah, it's going to be all about the cavalry today, isn't it? Where did they set up? I can't see them. Oh, they're there. They're, they're like literally right in between where the reinforcements are. And we are. Oh, great. You guys get running. But like I say, it's all going to be about cavalry. We can probably use these guys actually in the back. Once we've engaged them, we'll, we'll bring these guys forward. And they will actually probably be quite useful, especially against these slingers of them. So let's keep coming forward. Hopefully we're, not, we're out of range of their slingers at the minute. How tired are you boys? You're just warmed up. Fantastic. That's what we like to hear. Why are they just keep popping in? Like, surely these guys can see them. <laughs> like, <laughs> come on. Right, let's get uh, our boys forward. We're also going to bring you guys forward. Might as well use you while we can. And the cavalry will group you. Let's get you around this left-hand flank. And then we can actually bring these boys forward. So we'll get the slingers. And ideally, I want the slingers to be firing at the prodromoi. Okay, 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 okay. Keep coming. Keep coming for now. We might have to stop in a second. But we'll keep coming. The Prodromoi is a bit of an issue. Get the Akontistai here. You guys, Phalanx down. Just in time. Just in time. There we go. Good. Right, Cavalry. Looks like their General is going for the charge over here. So we are going to go and get him. We've got plenty of Generals, so we don't need to worry about this. Go, guys. Go. In fact, what I kind of want to do is get the Akontistai to just fire into them and hold them. These guys should still be running. Come on. Go, 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 go. They can't really go many places. That's the problem. Right. Now we've caught the general. Let's go and kill him. Fantastic. I think that's their faction leader, which is glorious for us. You guys fight them. That's only one unit of infantry, though. I thought they had two. Oh, they have got a unit of 30 of them. So the poor Akontistai... Why have they done this? What is going on here? That is so dumb, man. <laughs> the Akontistai just didn't even do anything. They didn't even hold them. The poor Slingers are getting absolutely battered now. Oh, well. We can retrain straight after this battle, so... Rally. This should be an easy victory for us with our overwhelming number of generals. Hopefully, we don't lose any. I mean, it's possible, but hopefully we don't. Nice little box we've got going on there. Let's get these guys in the fight. You guys should be on fire at will. And when they are, let's go and charge them. You guys there. Once that general's dead, it should just be a case of dealing with the Prodromoi and the Slingers, which hopefully 
We will be fast enough. That is their king. That definitely is their king. So make sure we do kill him. Kill him. There we go. That's where you get Akarnania for uh, coming to have a scrap with us. These guys, let's fire at the Prodromite. Why were they not on fire at will? That's so weird. Fire at the Prodromite, though. What we're going to do is come over this way. We have, in fact, lost one of the units there. That's fine. They're still alive. Good. And we should absolutely shred these guys now that we are here. Oh, wait. They, they were just here. I don't know why. We'll try and bait this Prodromite. Kill them. And let's go for the charge. Oh, the poor Akontistai being charged twice by cavalry today. It's not ideal for them, is it? You guys should now fire at them. But we should be able to kill that Prodromoy quite easily. Unless our guys rout. <laughs> oh, no. It was the Prodromoy that routed. Okay, that's fine. Now we'll get into these slingers. No problem. We'll charge these guys and we shall be done. So, yeah. Been a bit of a shaky old start, hasn't it? But it's been plenty good enough. So... Get. Oh, come on. Surely we're faster than them. We're not even tired. There we go. Let's kill them all. Right then. Let's get back across here. Have we killed 85%? Not quite. Yeah. Fire at the Prodromoy. Are they running? Yes, they are with running. Hopefully, when we've killed all of these boys, it'll be enough to be 85%. 29, 29 and 25 of them. I think if we just put our cavalry here, they should want to run. Because they're already wavering. Yeah, there we go. And I want to kill them all. So let's do that. You guys should really be chasing people, but it's fine. Killed enough. And these guys will fight to the death. Seven of them left. Fantastic. Keep going, boys. There we go. Fantastic. That, oh, 19 men remaining. Yeah, that should be plenty enough to have fully destroyed that army. Glorious victory once again. I'm going to say that one probably is more of a marmalization, especially with how damaged our army is. I am happy to say we have marmalized an army in our campaign now. Glorious victory. Let's get these boys <laughs> retrained because they are absolutely battered. Glorious victory indeed. I am so glad that Ambrakia is not <laughs> taken now we do want to leave a general behind in ambrakia so i'm thinking we'll leave helenos our brother because he's got really good management let's have a look at some of his traits understanding of logistics that's good for armies but not management uh one management there that's good anything else let's have a look archon of fenike well he can become the archon of um archon of dodona as well he's the archon of everywhere uh, but he is kind of like our governor of the lands while we're away. He gets plus 20 from taxes. So that's fantastic. Not a great for the law, but great for fertility and taxes. So we'll keep Helenos in Ambrakia. And we're also going to send Ducalos over to Dodona to govern that. Because like I say, it's on the border. So we do want a governor in there. We're going to have to put it down to low as well. Um, is there anyone else we can use to govern? Because we are very, very low on family members right now. I'm surprised we've got, no, uh, like, no other offers for family members. But that's fine. I'm going to bring you across. A bit, a little bit risky, but I don't think they'll have a big enough army to really consider doing that. Now, let's see how much this is going to cost. Well, quite a lot already. Oh, fantastic. Well, <laughs> That's pretty much all of our money gone. And we're also going to have a new Thurio Foray in the army. So this army is definitely getting up there. So let's now see what we can potentially build. Let's have a look at Pasaron. Let's go for that communal farming. And then in Kikiros. Oh, we can go for the port. That's definitely what we want to do. 181. Because that's going to add in uh, some trade over the sea. And apparently there's silver somewhere. Where was that? That is silver, yeah. In Argithea. Where's Argithea? Aegean. Argithea? This? No, that's Apollonia Epiros. Okay. Uh, oh, is this Argithea? This settlement. Yes, it is. Oh, okay. That makes sense. <laughs> I was very confused then for a second. But yeah, that uh, port should really help out with the trade there as well. We are building a port here. One more turn until that's done in Fenike, which is fantastic. So let's press the end turn and I'll see you after that, guys. 
So the Akarnanians woke up and chose violence. <laughs> Actually, we're going to keep our diplomat down here for now to try and make these guys a protectorate when we take the land. So we're going to leave Helenos behind. We're going to take the whole rest of the army and we're going to go straight for Stratos. Our spider, where is he? Can he actually get in Stratos? He can. So let's come down into Stratos. Let's see whether we can open the gates. That'd be fantastic if we could. So let's see. No, unfortunately not. Well, we're going to have to wait a turn. All they have in there is a general and some archers, but it's likely we're going to have to fight that battle because, like we saw last time, generals in siege battles <laughs> absolutely OP on the auto-resolve. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's fight that next time. Let's also make sure we're constantly recruiting. This time we're going to recruit... I feel like we need more slingers or more missile men. Not you, Zonoi, because they're pretty bad. Because they only have two javelins. But more Athamanian Peltas would quite would be quite good. So, yeah, they're, they're a decent unit. 20 defense, 10 morale, which isn't fantastic, but... Uh, 11 missile attack for the Javis is also quite good. Let's just have a look at our army. Um, obviously, the Zistophoria is still very damaged. And Brachia, can we upgrade anything? In fact, we need to get our population growth going. So we could go for the Shrine for Aphrodite, which is half a percent. Or we can go for the Communal Farms here, which is also half a percent. No, it's one and a half percent. So, yeah, let's go for that instead. And then, who are we going to recruit? Let's have a look. Yeah, I mean, we've got plenty of phalangites. A couple of thuriophoroi. Let's sort this. Uh, a couple of thuriophoroi. Yeah, we definitely... Let's get some uh, some Athamanian Peltas. And I don't mind leaving them behind to garrison, to be honest. They're, they're not cheap, but they're not really expensive. 557 is not too bad. I'd much rather leave those boys behind. Ooh, we're going to leave that off that for now. Normal here. And uh, can we go normal here? No, not quite. Oh, well. Uh, right then. Diplomatic information. Pontic Pentapolis and Gete have declared war. Okay, Ptolemies did declare war on Chios, which is fantastic. That's what we like to see. Get rid of all of that. And let's see what else we can build. We are not building in anywhere really now. Finike. We definitely need some more growth. So let's go for the communal farming. And then we're probably only going to be able to get one or two more things. Uh, probably just communal farming in Antiochia. Antigonia Chionia. So let's see what happens. They might come and attack us here. If they do, they're stupid because we've got overwhelming army. But for now, we should be good. I wonder if mercenaries are available yet. Yes! We do now have mercenaries, so we've also got another Thurio Foray there. So now we should be able to get some Thessalian Lancer mercenaries. Let's have a look. No, just Greek Peltas. So when they come uh, available, we will get them straight away because they're so good. It's definitely worth it. So, right. Let's see you after the end turn, guys. So, guys, here we are. And diplomatic information. Oh, my days. Lots of allies being put on here this time and Pergamon and the Galatians are now ceasefire. Sparta and Messene are at war so hopefully this Messene army decides that it doesn't want to stay here <laughs> for very much longer. That would be great. We've also upgraded Dodona now which is fantastic. Look how few buildings are in here now. Very very few. <laughs> like hardly any. So we do need to keep enslaving so that we can get Embrachia upgraded so we can get that third level of cavalry stables so we can re uh, retrain our Zistaphoroi as well. Now let's check if there's Thessalians. Now they're going to be quite expensive to take. But I do think it's worth it just to stop Macedon getting any. Like we need to take them rather than Macedon. So let us do this battle. It's probably going to be highly edited again guys. So I'll just show you the action. Um, but it shouldn't be a problem. The only issue is we don't really have that many missile troops to bait them. But we should have plenty enough. And our General Alexander is a glorious man. 10 command. And he's 24. What a glorious general. I will see you there, guys. Oh, that's nice. The uh, spy opened the gates for us on this turn. The turn we didn't need it. 
<laughs> Classic RNG. So it looks like we didn't even need to bait them with missile men. We are literally right here, ready to go already. Uh, so that's fantastic. If we can do that, that, if we can block them in here, that'd be amazing. Now, I don't hold out hope that we can, but we may be able to. There we go. Here comes the general. Get your phalanx down, boys. And you're not going to be in the greatest position, but they didn't they didn't get the good charge either. So that is great for us. That also means we can uh, bait these guys out. So fire your jabbies into these boys. In fact, just, just fight them. We should be able to beat them quite easily. You guys halt. And you're going to pop your phalanx round whichever way. And now these guys can go there and stop anyone coming back onto the town square. Now, let's get our general out for now and get these guys pushing through. There goes the general fighting to the death now. Now, you guys, you're on guard mode. Let's turn that off so you actually turn around. And that should be the general dead. These guys are shaken now. Let's try and get through and kill them all. You guys get in there. And this should be the battle. Glorious. There we go. They should want to rout now. There we go. Fantastic. Easy victory. We lost 10 men. Very nice. I will see you back on the campaign map, guys. I agree. Glorious victory. Let's enslave straight away. Now, what I'm going to try to do is sell this back to the Akarnanians. Do they have a recruitment hub here? I don't actually know. Basically, so that they will become our protectorate, because otherwise we are going to get attacked by the Aetolians. Even though they are our allies, we're playing on very hard, guys. Like... <laughs> We are 100% going to get attacked by the Aetolians if we stay here. So we really need a buffer state. Alternatively, we can maybe sell it to the GCS for now and come and take it back later. I mean, I don't mind taking this island because it technically doesn't border anyone. And also there's another island here that we could take. And although it's a town, these places later in the game are going to be so, so worthwhile to have. Because of the amount of trade we're going to be trading with the Peloponnese and with Epirus. So, if they won't accept our sincerest apologies for enslaving their people and becoming protectorates, then request become protector. Obviously, a ceasefire as well. Your request, become a protector. Now, offer your protection. Yes, of course. Now, I will give you, however, Stratos... That's the right one. Still very demanding. And map information. And how about, say, like, what have we got? Like a thousand gold. Like, surely you would accept that. Do not take us nope. for Well, force. let's sell Stratos then to the GCS. But for now, we are going to get our spy in there. He has won that as well. Is he a good spy? Three. He's got three. That's fine. We're also in winter now. Of course, remember, it's four turns per year now on the mod. We are going to destroy that. Also going to... I'm pretty much going to destroy everything. Like, we want the money from this. We don't want to uh, mess around. And if we sell it to the GCS, they can build it up themselves uh, for us to take it back later. So let's get rid of the Odeon as well. And then the Shrine to Dionysus. There we go. Now, surely the GCS will want this. I mean, we may even just have to give it to them. But for now, that's fine. Let's get out of here straight away because, like I say, we don't want Stratos at all. Where be my guy? Oh, bollocks. We have stopped the siege for now. Now he should be able to move. Good. So there we go. Now we can re-siege. Fantastic. Now let's go talk to the GCS. Let's give you Stratos. Very generous, I know. For money. Now, do we want a lump sum or do we want money every turn? I think we'll take a lump sum. Like, I'm, I'd be happy with 5,000. That's balanced, apparently. You do not fool us. Mm, our previous conduct. What, what, what have we done, man? Uh, we can give them compensation. Give 20. There we go. Yes. Let us put this behind us. Welcome, friend. I gave them 20 gold to let to set bygones be bygones. I don't know what it does. <laughs> but uh, whatever. Right. That's also probably reset the AI so they don't need to um, 
so they won't reject this one. Let's try for 3,000. I'll still be happy with 3,000. I mean... You do not fool us. Right, well, will you take this for free? Come on. Yes, master. Come on, man. You've got to take this for free. <laughs> Give region. I, I mean, like I say, I'll give it, them it for free because I just don't want the Aetolians declaring war on us. You do not fool us. Well, right, well, let's let's do it as a gift. Are they going to reject a gift? Here's a gift. How generous of you. Okay, yeah, they, that was the only way we could give them in. And apparently they've got an army full of uh, Greek peltasts now. I think the compensation was for uh, uh, trespassing, which, yeah. I mean, we're... We're going to trespass on everyone, <laughs> aren't we, with so many settlements in the game at this point. Now we've got an absolute ton of money. We can probably build everywhere now, which is fantastic. So Korkira, what I'm thinking for Korkira is to go for the Shrine to Aphrodite because it gives a bit of happiness and growth. All of these places, I would love to get them up to Minor City. Dodona, let's go for the farming as well. More growth, more money. Always fantastic. Oricon, I wonder if we built this, how much money is it going to make? Nothing, because the only land trade is Fenike, and it only affects land trade. That's not too bad, 41. How about that? I mean, I know the market's quite expensive, and it's going to take a long time to repay itself. Uh, it's close to 50 turns. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, dearie me. Um, well, yeah, 40 turns to repay itself, this place, to get the market. But it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I mean, it's worth building after all, because over time, that's going to keep building up. And it's better to be building that now, rather and when it's got a low amount, than later when it makes loads. Because it's just going to accumulate over time, and it's going to snowball and snowball and snowball. So let's go for that in there. The by Pathiotides. Let's also get the roads here just so that we can... Uh, I think we can get Thessalian cavalry here as well. Oh, where did we get the... Uh, oh, it's one more turn to go. I'm thinking we might want to get somewhere else over here that has... That's only a town, so it's definitely not worth building there. I mean, in here, Pharsalos. Could we get the Thessalians in Pharsalos? I think we can. Yes, we can. So, instead of that, let's build that. I know it's expensive, but let's have a few more recruitment hubs, especially in our border with Macedon. We want a few nice little recruitment hubbos to uh, to build up, because you can see they're building up quite a few nice little armies there. Now, in Demetrias, let's have a look. Let's just get that. That's the best thing we can do. Right then, although we are, tr we should be sea trade. Oh no, we're not, because we're blockaded by the Antigonids. Great. And the Aconanians were blockading one of those ports. Now let's just go through our settlements and see whether we're on the right tax rate for each of them. So we'll start in Ambrachia and get that up to uh, that. Normal is fine there. Here we can go normal. Here we can go very high. Here we can, we have to stay on low. Actually, Go back to Ambrachia. We are actually got a... We've got a good bit of population growth there now, but I'm going to pop that still on low. Dodona, we can actually go up. Could we go one more under Dodona? No. Eh, well, it's, it's probably okay. Very high. Normal. 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 Oricon? No, still has to be low. And Demetrius, we've seen that one. Yep, that's fine. If you want to know how we're doing that, the square brackets, guys. If you press on a, a city and you press the square brackets, it'll take you to the next one in a list, uh, which is pretty cool. So, and thank you to Mosca for letting us know about that one as well. He knows all the shortcuts. He knows all the shortcuts. So I'm hoping this guy will come and attack us in a last-ditch effort to save his nation. But, yeah, probably not. But anyway, I'll see you after the... End turn, guys. Oh, hello, Antigonids. That's a clever move. Well done. Wasn't expecting that one. Wasn't expecting that one. But it's fine. We just need to deal with the Akarnanians. And then I think we leave the rebel settlements and then go straight back to the Antigonids. Oh, and don't you love to see it? The GCS patrolling the border, making sure we've got no foolish enemy armies on the way ready to kill us. Now, this battle... 
does have reinforcements. The problem being, if I play this battle, guys, it is very likely that I kill this guy. If I kill this guy, he is their last remaining family member. They will die, and this will become a rebel settlement. Now, we don't want that. I want to take Lucas for myself. The only problem is Lucas does border the... Um, the Aetolians, but I'm hoping it's not a big enough border for them to really consider attacking us. But we shall see. So, I am going to auto-resolve this, but we are very close to being able to retrain, so it should not be an issue. I'm going to auto-resolve. Killed about equal, and we did take it in the fight, which is fantastic. So, let's enslave. The Akarnanians are now dead. Our first faction that we have killed, guys. Glorious, glorious victory. And can two Zistaphoroi govern this place or not? <laughs> not really. Not really, I've got to say. And it does have a port, which is fantastic. More sea trade for us. Yeah, you can see Ambrakia, 230 already. That is fantastic. How much money is Ambrakia making? 1,700. That is glorious. If you want to know how to get these little gold things underneath, this is actually something that... Uh, rather incoherent showed me or sh well i saw on his campaign so do check out his achaean campaign guys as well um but he uh, he actually uh, did this on here it's this little tick which is fantastic and it when you press space bar with the no uh, no faction labels no settlement labels you can see all the amount of money you're making which is glorious really really good little addition for rome total war there so let's get these guys together then Auto sort the boys, and I think we'll leave behind the slingers. But the slingers are very valuable in siege fights, especially. So instead of that, let's leave behind the Akontistai. It is a whole hundred Akontistai. I am so unbelievably surprised that we have not got any more offers for marriage because we have so many ungoverned cities. Like, please, game, please, I want more generals. <laughs> But anyway, we're going to trespass against these boys again. And we're going to go for Tricker. Or are we going to go... Yeah, let's let's not worry about Demetrius. Let's go for Tricker. So we're going to come through here. Let's try not to get ambushed again. And let's go for Tricker. It's a large town. They have an army nearby. So I'm hoping they'll come and attack us. And force a draw-out battle. Which would be glorious. Um, so lots more alliances. Oh my god. Loads of alliances going on with the Anatolians and the Thracians there. Very cool. We got some more Athamanian Peltasts. And I think, honestly, we just need to build some more garrison troops right now. Which we can probably do from Ferai. But Pasaron, I think it's time Pasaron gets Rhodes now. Now, Rhodes by themselves are not amazing. They don't really do anything in terms of giving you extra money. But what they do do is allow you to move a bit quicker. And they also build up to when you can build paved roads which are now really good actually and they were good last in the last um patch but now base trade income 100 percent, which is really quite good um and then you get highways which is 200 percent. so by building the those roads early on we can get that out of the way and we can be ready to go so can we recruit some absolute trash munchers here just prodromoy and they are definitely trash munchers but we need Epiro Recruitment 2. So what do we get from 2? We then get access to the Archers, do we? No, we do have access to the Archers. We just need the Practice Range. So let's build the Practice Range here so we can start getting more Garrison Troops for all the cities we're about to take. And the Antigonids, yeah, definitely mustering some forces, which is a little bit scary. But I'm sure we'll be fine. You guys come through that way. Uh, always, guys, remember you can use the fort wall tactic and just build fort walls everywhere if you want to. Uh, that is something that uh, RI likes to do. Um, I just personally don't do it. I, I just don't want to do it, really. <laughs> but that is completely up to you. It is a very valid tactic, of course. So, yeah, you can, of course, do that. I just prefer not to do that. Uh, just because it bugs the AI, AI out a little bit, which I guess is the reason why you do it. So... <laughs> But for me, I want them to be able to get through and attack us uh, and provide some serious challenge. But at the minute, I don't know what they're doing, but hopefully the Antigones will come and attack us here. So let's see. Anything else we can build? No. Uh, oh, sorry. In Lucas, we can build 
Now, we don't need this practice range because we are 100% never going to build here. They've got a Temple of Dionysus. That's actually fine. I'm quite happy with that one. So let's then build a communal farming. Fantastic. And we've still got a lot of money. Do we have access now to Thessalian mercenaries? No. I wonder if we go out here. We do. No, it's still just Hoplites and Thurio Foroi. That's fine. Uh, where the hell is our diplomat? Oh, he's still here with the GCS. So let's go into the far north and start talking to some glorious Thracian boyos. Because, oh dear. Well, we've got to go all the way around then. Just because they should be at war with the Antigonids at some point, And that should really help us out. So I'll see you after the end turn, guys. Oh dear. It looks like Messene is dead. So that general they had wandering around couldn't help them out. So, <laughs> Well done. Oh, finally we get a candidate for adoption. He's 22. He's a social drinker. Sounds like my type of man. He is a learning bureaucrat. He's green, of course, an epiro. Well supplied. Individualistic. He's intelligent, charismatic, and whatever the other one is. So he's not great for being a general, but he will be a good governor for us, of course. Where has he been put? In Ambarakia. So we definitely want to send him to Fenike because it's making 1,300. Uh, and Antigone at Chionia is only making 900. So it's definitely worth sending him to Fenike to govern. Hopefully he gets some good governor traits over time. And can we put it up? No, unfortunately not. That'll stop the rioting there as well. And Messene is deaded. Very deaded. And he killed 400 men in that rioting. That's not ideal for trying to grow the city. Uh, but yeah, more allies between the Ant Anatolians, Paphlagonia. Paphlagonia is still alive after fighting the Galatians, I think. So fair play to them, because that's kind of crazy. And the AI has presented us with a glorious draw-out opportunity here. So we might finish with a couple of battles. A nice little siege battle for Tricker, and then a battle for Falana, which will be glorious. We can't take a Ginion anymore straight away because they've got walls. Well done, AI. Building the right thing for once. And we've got plenty to build now. So, Ambrakia. I think the only real thing we want here is probably let's build the Aphrodite Shrine for now. Um, and then in Fenike, let's also build the roads there ready to get the paved roads later down the line. Now, Korkira... Yeah, Korkira is only trading via the sea, so the paved roads here won't actually do anything. But apparently 730 extra trade is coming in next turn. Now, I don't know where that is from, but let's take a look at that maybe next episode, next turn, to see where that trade has come from. I'm guessing maybe Lucas or one of our other trade partners, but it seems like they've managed to find a new trade route that's more lucrative. It could be Ambrakia, honestly. But I, I don't know. I don't know. Interesting. 730 in a turn, though, is, is crazy. So let us get the market. Because right now, it's not going to look like it's a lot. But it is actually quite a lot. It's nearly 100. Yeah, it's about 100 extra gold from the market. So that's definitely worth it. Antigone at Chionia. Same thing here. I think it's probably worth... Mm, probably not worth getting in the roads there, actually. Let's go for the population growth. And Kikiros, how rich are you, Kikiros? You're actually trading relatively well. Uh, but your land trade is awful. So that's why we're not getting much money from that. So let's go for the communal farming and get a bit of extra population growth there. Because it's currently not growing at all. So, I think we're in a good place. Um, economically wise. We are kind of like split in half right now. It would be nice to have take, take like uh, a, G a Ginion. So we, you know, our lands are actually connected because we've kind of got a little enclave over here. We also want to remove these Athamanian Peltas when we can because they're quite a good unit. Uh, and are we recruiting here? We definitely need to be. So what do we need in this army? More cavalry, really. Ah, we were going to build a cavalry thing, but we can't until we're next level. So, I think let's go for potentially some more Acontisti to govern a region. So, let's get into this battle then. Should not be too hard. We don't have many Beatty troops. We've got the Greek Slingers and some Thurio Foroi. But apart from them, not that many Beatty troops. 
but it shouldn't be too much of a problem unless they all just clump on the center, <laughs> which would be a bit of a nightmare, but it should be fine, guys. I'll see you there. Our foes are gathering, and it would be ill-mannered to keep them waiting. They seem so eager to face our lines, so eager to test themselves. Well, not the greatest of speeches, was it? But it was fine. Alexander is a 10 command guy now, which is insanely good. Tomorrow, we will smile oh, he continues. Okay, yeah, no. I, yeah, I like that. I think that was good. Good speech, Alexander. Worthy of a man with 10 command at the age of 24. Looks like they are going to contest the gate, guys. So that's actually really good for us. We do want them to contest the gate. I didn't actually um, decide to d destroy any walls. So a bit dumb on my part, but that's fine. We can push through this pretty easily. I'm not going to lie. So I think we should get here and start firing on them. And then these boys, once they've dropped the ramp, should be able to fire through there and charge into them. And that should not be a problem at all. Fire, 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 guys. Fire. I don't know what you're doing. Okay. Yes. That's interesting. Well, just kind of trying to, trying to make a breach here first. Let's go. And let's just push through him. Get our general nearby. Where are you, Alexander? Keep coming, my friend. Should be able to beat these guys. This, this 304 is probably going to take a bit of a battering. I was hoping these guys would be able to fire, actually. Maybe if we go here, they will be able to. So let's get in there. And let's see. Can you fire on them or not? Fire? No. Don't do that. Fire, boys. Also, where are you? Can you not fire? You can a little bit, actually. Okay, good. We're probably doing a bit of friendly fire with that. But we'll get our boys through. And we'll also try and get our general through as well. We'll try and squish him through. Come on, general. You can squish through, my friend. Squish, 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 squish. Can push through. Yeah, he's not even lost any men in that. So that will allow us now to charge those boys in the back. Now, where did the rest of their troops go? They've got their hoplites there. So more hoplites. That's it. There we go with the charge. Oh, what a glorious, glorious charge, my friends. And let's get these Thurio Foroi here now. And hopefully we can engage this hoplite. Uh, we'll chase them down. What else have we got up here? We've got Thurio Foroi and Akontistai. It's got quite a nice, clean, straight line there. So let's get our slingers through this way. It's going to take them a while to get that way. Uh, we're going to send you boys that way. We'll group you up. And we'll send this Silver Experience Boyo this way, which is glorious. Now we'll send these guys, this guy down the center. So you get through that way, and we'll send this guy here. You're going that way. Who else do we have? This Thurio Foroi. Probably down this way in the middle. Was I not sending him around that way? Uh, I don't know. Let's uh, let's charge this guy then, the Akontistai. They should not be easy. Should not be hard to break. Rally the general. That's not a charge, my men. There we go. That's better. Okay. Not so easy to break because we had the worst charge I've ever seen. And as soon as these guys get involved, we will go. But gold experience now for Alexander's unit, which is crazy good. Oh, it's 304, right? Let's go. I thought it was uh, hoplites. Nope, 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 nope. We don't want to be taking any of that juicy damage. Get your phalanx down, my men. And halt. And just take the old charges. Let's go. Get these guys forward so they can start firing. Now, General, let's bring you round. You guys, let's get you up there. We'll also get the Phalangite up this way. Let's see if we can uh, do something special somewhere along the way. And we'll get these guys. Yeah, these guys just need to, like, just get here and just fire at them. So we should be fine here. Like, we shouldn't be really be losing many men. This is a problem again with Phalangites. Like, if they get like this. But they're still decent, aren't they? They're still doing well. I think you guys should be able to fire there without too many casualties. Uh, that's not firing, guys. You're just running forward, you imbeciles. Like, why? Fire. God damn it, man. 
Uh, but that shouldn't be a problem. I mean, if they put all of their troops down there, there's nothing for us to do apart from charge them. So let's get all these guys up this way if we can. Is that all of them? Where's their other units? I thought they had four. That's two. Oh, we've killed the other one. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. Right, guys. Go, 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 go. Just get, get up here as quick as possible. This is really important. We need to block this off ASAP. ASAP. I mean, I kind of don't want these guys here for now. There we go. And now, General, you can charge them in the back. Maybe we can get a mass route off. You guys get down here as well. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get you there to block them off and fully sandwich them. General can charge first. Well, this is a little less messy, this battle, than it was previously. Go on for the boys. A big charge. There we go. It's what we like to see. Oof. Brutal charge. Brutal charge. That has held them for a second. Now... Who's running down here? We've got 304. In fact, we're going to leave the 304 there for a second. Come on, Alexander. Get out, my friend. We don't want you to die. So let's get the Akontistai. Looks like they're coming back for a little bit of a fight. So let's get the flanks down and fight with them. These guys should be firing now. Excellent. And, I mean, we're just going to take this town square, aren't we? A glorious battle, anyway. But while we're here, let's do a little bit of cinematic so you can really take in just the beauty of these units, guys. Like, look how amazing they look. They look fantastic, don't they? Go on, boys. Nice. And now the uh, now the missile's coming into them. Right, so let's get off this. And Deuteroy, time for you guys to get there. Get in phalanx formation as well, <laughs> please. <laughs> But we might as well just get our guys some more experience if they can. Now we're going to walk through here. And then we're going to halt when we get into the fight. Or just, just put the attack order on. That's fine. Here they go. No, don't do that, you dickheads. Why do they do that? <laughs> Did I say attack with your secondary weapon? No. Attack with your goddamn melee. Uh, with your phalangite weapon, you silly sausages. You silly bastards. Oh, dear. These guys still firing? Probably not something we want to do anymore. <laughs> That'll be a lot of friendly fire. But yeah, 35 seconds, so let's speed through it. But a glorious victory nonetheless. Very nice indeed. And once again, we have beaten the Antigonid. So let us end the battle there. We lost 69. Nice. But not many. Not many, that's the thing. We got some healed on the Thuriophoroi as well. Fantastic. And... Yeah, everyone just killing a few. General's bodyguard a lot because they ran down that first army. But anyway, I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Victory and honor, my friends. Victory and honor. So let's enslave and let's destroy this recruitment building, of course. Now, I'm going to leave the barracks in there because we're not struggling for money at this moment. It's probably a good idea to get rid of those when you can but for now, it's not too bad. Uh, because like we're not struggling for money. We're building everywhere. So we don't need specifically that money right now. So I don't see the point of destroying them because it may become a recruitment hub at some point. Just not yet. Just not yet. Where is the other recruitment hub? So we can actually start building some more hoplites in there while we're recruiting Akontistai there. I think that's definitely a good option. So what's the difference? Oh, they're exactly the same. These ones we can just actually retrain rather than uh, only in AOR areas. Now we have some juicy options here, guys. We can actually take two settlements. Three settlements in one turn here. How much movement have we got? Oh my god, we've got a lot of movement. Glorious. Well, we're going to leave this Athamanian Peltast in there. And I think, guys, we're going to end that episode here for today. But next time, we're going to show you how you can blitz this with these draw-out battles. Because we're going to do two draw-out battles in a row and absolutely destroy this these settlements. Take them off the Antigonids. And then we'll probably clean up back down here towards Larissa and... Um, 
Uh, Demetrius, they've actually made Larissa their capital now. Oh, come on, Antigonids. Don't be silly. Don't be silly, my friends. That is stupid. But anyway, <laughs> that's fine. But thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.